I have idiopathic pseudotumor cerebri, which is where my body thinks I have a tumor, even though I don't, and it increases my spinal fluid, um, which build up on my optic nerve. I was a regular high school student. I was very active in 4-H and my school board committees um, until my senior year of high school. That's when I was diagnosed with pseudotumor cerebri. Some things were changing. I couldn't read um, as well as I used to. I'd need a bright light to read. And I thought, well, maybe it's just a cataract. Uh, little did I know that this was actually vision loss. I actually was referred from the Bureau of Services for the Visually Impaired. Um, I had given them a call and two weeks later someone called me from the Goodwill. I met Jessica through the summer youth program and then through a low vision evaluation. Um, learned a lot more about her vision and how it affected her and we were able to identify the tools that she needed. Uh, when she came in, she was excited, but quiet and reserved. And the more she got comfortable with the group in the class, then the more she opened up and just began to really show herself as someone who was struggling to find herself and gain some more, more control in her life. It was just something I went to twice a week, made friends with other visually impaired people, and that was kind of inspiring because before that, I only knew of one other person. After the youth program, I had uh, worked with Betsy and we developed a plan. So I started my orientation and mobility training, which is where they teach you how to use a cane as well as transportation. Then I went to computer training because Doug had taught me how to use the computer. I was actually doing an internet search. I filled out two applications and Two months after that, I had got a call for an interview for a job. I think the biggest challenge that probably Jessica faced with finding the right job was finding the right employer who was going to be accepting for the accommodations that she needed. I work for the Red Roof Inn. I am a sales agent. People call in and I describe the rooms that the Red Roof has to offer and I make reservations. The people at Red Roof are very supportive. They've given me a larger monitor to make it easier to read. We've actually used adaptive software, a program called Zoom Text, which will increase the magnification on the screen. I like uh, helping people and I love making my own money. <laughs> Today I can go shopping. That's the most important one, of course. I can make my own meals. I use the computer independently. Um, as well as travel independently. I find her to be incredibly motivated. When she started at the Red Roof Inn, she told me, she said, I'm going to be employee of the month. And I said, okay, let's work on it. Five months after I started working, I won the director's award, uh, which is kind of like employee of the month. For any young person out there that has any type of disability or challenge, I would just say that you can do it. Thank you so much. You've really increased the quality of my living. I can do so much with myself, um, which before I thought that there was no hope, but now I definitely have hope.